Welcome back. It's art time class. Yay! Today, we're going to be making a crayon resist painting. Let's get started. To begin, on the back of your paper, you want to make sure you have your name and your class code. This is the information we're going to need so that we can give your picture back to you in case you need to leave it in the art room to dry. On the front side of your paper, go ahead and start making a drawing. Today I'm doing an ocean drawing. I'm going to add, let's see, another fish or perhaps another sea creature. And it's up to you what kind of drawing you want to do. maybe blend those colors and remember you want to really push down hard with your crayons it's really going to help the resist you can add white if you want to do some secret detail I'm going to do like little bubbles the happy crab. All right, so I have some details here. This time when I'm using my dry watercolor paint, I'm going to get my paintbrush wet and then I'm going to swirl it around one, two, three, four, five. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over part of my picture. And right now the color is fairly light. So I'm going to do that on the top area. One, two, three, four, five. You see how the color got darker? Let's do a dot of water. The last time we did a crayon resist painting, you kind of got to explore and see what you want to do. This time I want to see if you can try to match the value of the color. How dark is the shade of blue that you're using. For the sky, I kind of want it light. Oh, and I want to add a sun to the sky. It's like a highlighter yellow, it's so bright. So I got pressed down really hard, and I want to do another color with it. Kind of layer those colors together. in a cloud. I really want to color those clouds in nice and dark. Alright, here we go. Three, three, four, five. Yes, that's that. Yes! Oh, that looks good. I like that. Sometimes I just need a little bit more paint, or sometimes I need a little bit more water. I want you guys to really explore that today. Blend in those colors, try to get that same value, like the same shade of color. So next down below in the ocean, I'm actually gonna have two colors. Some of us will only have one color, depending on our class, and some of us will have two. So when I'm mixing colors, do a little bit of blue when well, I want that darker. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can test it on the 
paper towel if I want this. Nice and dark. See how dark that is? It's not, I didn't push down harder on the paint. I just took more time and swirled it on the paint. Um, that's what really got me that darker color. So I kind of want to try some different watercolor techniques. I could put a dot of water. See, I kind of got, yep, it's kind of clean right now. So I'm going to switch colors. And I'm going to get a little dot of water going on here on my paper. And then I'm going to grab some of this color. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if you guys can see this. Do you see this bottom part where the plastic is? That's not where the paint is. It's these dry pieces that's the paint. And all I need to do is take my brush and I'm not pushing down. I'm just having my brush kind of spinning the bristles on it lightly, very lightly. That looks good. Grab just an extra dot of water. See, it's kind of a fuzzier color down here. And now my paintbrush is kind of clear of color, so I'm going to mix it back in with the blue. And you're, you can actually mix color on your paper if you'd like. You may not mix colors in the cup. We want to keep this blue, and we want to keep this purple fuchsia color. We want to keep them separate. If I see you mixing colors in the cup, I will take them away, and you will only get one color of paint. Oh, I love how that layers together. It's such a pretty purple. Yep, that's pretty clear color. As long as I'm cleaning my paintbrush in between, see I'm checking over here, making sure I don't have the dark color. I have a very light amount of color. So I can switch between the two with just one paintbrush. Now I can see my my paper is starting to get all wiggly and wobbly here. That means I'm adding a bit too much water. And I can also see right here, there's a little bit of paper kind of rolling up some. When that happens, I need to stop that area and I need to let it dry some. So I'm gonna leave that area alone and start working on a different part of my paper. I know a lot of students really liked this material and they wanted to experiment with it more. So today, definitely create a drawing, a picture. Don't just do a secret message. Let there be a secret hidden thing in your drawing, but create a full picture this time. And again, you can do whatever you want. You can copy my ocean idea or you can come up with your own idea. It's totally up to you. I actually stole this idea from a student. I thought it was really cute, so I thought I'd do it myself. I'm almost done. And here we go. Add a little bit of this color and layer that and kind of mix them together on here. <gasps> Ooh, that looks cool. get a little bit of paint on the table it's okay you can always clean that up if you're painting the table on purpose that's not okay don't waste the paint you want to be purposeful you don't want to waste our materials over here it's dried off some so I can add another layer of some paint if I want 
I don't want to do too much. It's still pretty fragile. As you can see, it's, um, it's, a, it's a bit fragile right here. Can you see that, the texture of it? So I want to be really gentle and not use too much water. I can see right here, over here, and over here, I need to be more gentle with my paper and use less water. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and let it dry and start cleaning up my area. I can't wait to see what you create in the art room. Until next time, keep being creative.